Hello everyone, back in February 2022 we finally got a phone call from our agent immobilier to nip on a ferry, uh, get over to France as quickly as we could, uh, which was between two storms and uh, France had only lifted a uh, lockdown about two days before and drive all the way down to the cruise and uh, sign our act, authority de bond with the notaire and um, pick up the keys to our house. Uh, when we got to the house, the, uh, the seller, who'd only just recovered from a um, heart operation about, uh, I think it was five or six days before, he cleared out all the debris inside the house and had a massive fire in the garden and um, which was absolutely incredible of him, considering what he'd been through. And um, yeah, uh, we we found that uh, there was quite a few problems with the house, obviously. Uh, one of them was the fact that um, the windows uh, were all broken, uh, gut rim was broken and all stuff like that. So uh, we had to fix uh, all the broken glass in the windows. And I'll, sh um, I'll, I'll show you what's... Um, wrong with one of the windows. We've made two windows uh, for less than 200 quid. They're green oak, 14 mil, double glazed. Uh, they're the uh, first bits of woodwork I've done for 40 years. So, yeah, well, we'll see how we go. Uh, it might leak, might not. You never know. I made them out of one pile of um, scrap wood. As you can see, these poor old windows are over a hundred years old. One of the panes of windows has been missing probably for about 30 years now. And uh, this one here has been tacked in with a couple of panel pins. It's all loose now. This one here, the putty's, well, the putty's falling out. Uh, a pine martin that's been making a nest here. Uh, the window frame's rotten as well. Uh, yesterday a little lizard ran out of this hole as well. Uh, water has been making its way down through these lovely um, floorboards into the bedroom below. Uh, so um, we're only here for a week. So I'm uh, going to see if I can putty in a little bit of glass. Temporary patch it up while I'm back in England. I'm going to make a new window out of oak um, See if I can patch it up nice and properly and I'm going to make a new one probably double glazed this time and Make it nice and sound and window a nice window that is um, Probably a bit more thermally efficient than this one because the wind absolutely howls through here. The flies will come in and buzz around. The Pine Martin's making a good old toasty home and he's filling the loft full of walnuts at the moment. So this, this place is a right old nest for everything that lives. Now, somewhere around the back of this barn is some glass. Now, the pond goes all the way round here. And in, in the back of the pond, somewhere here, I think this is actually a well. We've got to uncover that one day. It could actually be anywhere around here, really. But around the back of the, uh, the lake, as I said, earlier the lake actually goes round the back here in a stream hooks round the back here because this here is an island hooks round the back and comes into a well somewhere in this region here but what I'm actually looking for is some glass there's a chicken enclosure there and in here Upstairs, oh, try not to trip over because this this whole area here is full of animal traps. So I'm trying to not get me a uh, leg cut off. Right, this is what I'm looking for. Here 
is some glass. Right. Now, that's all broken. That looks about big enough, I think. Not really clean, so it could do with a wash. But that is ideal to me. Get covered in cobwebs. Yeah. Marvellous, I think. Yep, mission successful. Pane of glass is big enough. So yeah, we can uh, get that cut and put that in, I think. Not bad. That'll do nicely. I don't know if you can see, it's just temporary, but I found a bit of mahogany in the barn and uh, just screwed it on the bottom for now. A uh, bit of a patchwork quilt, but as I say, it's just temporary. We're only over here for a couple of days, basically just to sign the paperwork with the no-tear, really. And, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mess, isn't it? But it's just to stop the wind and rain getting in. We're going to put a bit of two-pack filler in to fill all the gaps. Well, wish me luck. Only one thing that can go wrong. Oh, more than one thing that can go wrong. As you can see, I'm already leaking. That don't want to break. And it broke. Well, it's all puttied up and the windows are in. Uh, have to do for now. As I say, it's only temporary. Now, considering uh, I did it with virtually no tools, so I've just stuffed a bit of parquet pine in there. Get this over in uh, France. Dead cheap. Cost your fortune over in England, but yeah, you can get a two metre length. Uh, equivalent of £7.50 in England. Yeah, I think it was uh, €8.50 for a two metre length. Yeah, bargain. Couldn't think of a nicer spot to sit and draw me, uh, me little sketches of me uh, fenetra and uh, out by the uh, out by the pond probably made a few mistakes but who cares really it's a lovely spot a couple of uh, I think they were actually ibis or something that just flew over get all sorts around here but there we go yeah lovely there we go my little little sketch This window is a different kettle of fish. It is totally rotten. Unfortunately, the uh, wood is more rotten than the other window, but the uh, glass was still just hanging in there. Uh, and the uh, wooden seat is even more rotten than the other one. Um, but we're going home tomorrow. So um, I've just literally used a whole tub of putty and uh, <laughs> I've just glued it in. Uh, yeah, nothing really I can say about the uh, state of the putty in, rather than I've just shoved it in there uh, wherever I can in a rush. Um, yeah, I didn't spend any time on it whatsoever. Uh, I've just stuffed it in wherever, and um, we're going to hit and run on this one. Uh, the window is totally totally rotten really um, even the uh, window surround um, unfortunately that is actually a bit of a 6x6 six six oak 
uh, um, so uh, yeah, that uh, that might um, need doing. Well, at least repairing anyway. I don't think it's going to go anywhere because it is six by six, and it is only just a little split on the corner there. So I'm um, probably not going to need repairing or replacing. So that's all right. But that that window here is destroyed and so is the window seat so yeah didn't need my hobnailed boots to pull the other one out it just crumbled out with my fingers but there we go the uh, cremone is just a rubbish cremone so uh, we're going to find a nice victorian one to replace that in a brocante somewhere hopefully they fetch a fortune in England so um, we're gonna uh, go around the um, Brigance probably a bit further north than around here and uh, see if we can find one to replace that but the wood here is bowed it's distorted and it is rotten the bottom bit is dropping off yeah that one's knackered god knows how the glass is staying in but there we go Yep, that's for another another trip to France, that one. When the visas are sorted, we'll be back and repairing that one. Too sweet. Might be able to say I didn't completely fix my uh, problems. The uh, water is actually coming in through the uh, peak of the roof and dripping down into a tray here. So, got more problems to solve. There is actually a wonky finial, spiky lightning conductory thing on the roof, and uh, Storm Eunice is actually battering the coast at 85 mile an hour at the moment, and that is why we've got a little drip, drip, drip coming in. So the water was coming in horizontally through the uh, bottom two window panes and as you can see we've got a few flies on the window at the moment as well so that's another problem to cure but as the ferry leaves in a couple of hours I'll be doing that this trip so there we go yeah another problem to solve for our next trip so Got to find a roof man to do that because I definitely ain't getting up there, that's for sure. Oh well, more joys, 